Is the president prepared to take executive action? We should first expect the United States Congress to act. I'm not willing to give up on what we must do to appeal to the hearts and minds and the reason of the members of the United States Senate. The president has it in his power to do something right now. And the president has said he is prepared to sign legislation. But he can also take executive action. I don't think the president is excluding that, but I, again, I, I, I want to be clear that if we really want something that is going to be lasting, we need to pass legislation. This is not about getting rid of the Second Amendment. It's simply about saying we need reasonable gun safety laws. There is no reason why we have assault weapons on the streets of a civil society. They are weapons of war. Mr. President, do you believe you have the political power to make changes on gun measures right now? I hope so. I don't know. I haven't done the counting yet. I don't need to wait another minute, let alone an hour, to take common sense steps that will save the lives in the future and to urge my colleagues in the House and Senate to act. We can ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines in this country once again. This Democratic-led Senate will be different. The Senate is not going to hide. We're going to debate and address the epidemics of gun violence in this country. Thoughts and prayers are good, but they're not enough. And after every one of these shootings, my Republican colleagues say that they are offering thoughts and prayers, but then they oppose common sense constitutional measures to separate people from guns when those people are dangerous. The main thing that you should they should do is ban assault uh, assault rifles. I, I don't think we can any longer equate freedom with the unfettered right to own assault rifles. That is not freedom because I feel like a hostage right now. I feel like a hostage to the selfish people that insist on owning these types of weapons. President Biden is, uh, when you strip away the title and everything, he is a normal human being. And I think he is tired of the makeshift memorials. I think he is tired of crying about 20, over 26 or 27 children being killed at Sandy Hook. The Democrats have painted themselves into a corner that they can't get out of. You've demonized the police, which creates the Ferguson effect, right? The Ferguson effect drives up gun sales because people see their only recourse is self-protection. So as you de 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 demonize law enforcement, all you do is drive people towards buying guns. So that, in terms of gun control, you can talk about it all you want. That ship has sailed. Gun control died once the Democrats sided with the rioters over citizens.